Now there's a state in Mexico that consumes on average 2.2 liters of Coca-Cola every single day. And I'm not kidding. It's Chiapas, Mexico. They even incorporate Coca-Cola into various religious rituals. Now, 2.2 liters of Coca-Cola every single day is five times the national average of Mexico. Now, of course, if we take a look at the three countries that consume the most Coca-Cola in the world, Mexico is number one, US comes in number two, and Brazil number three. Now, I also found in Chiapas that 3% of the babies are given Coca-Cola. So obviously there's this very severe lack of awareness or education on what Coca-Cola can do to our bodies. Now in Chiapas, Mexico, diabetes deaths rank number two behind heart disease. Now I wonder what causes heart disease. Well, could it be the same thing? Did you realize between 2011 and 2015, both Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola sponsored 95 national health organizations, including health clinics, medical facilities, to support the fight against the obesity epidemic. Now, isn't that like putting out a fire with gasoline? I mean, their PR campaigns, their public relation campaigns are incredible. Um, they used to sponsor for eight years uh, the American Dietetic Association uh, with their continuing educational credits, which that's amazing because if you're going to sponsor an organization like that, I mean, uh, wouldn't that uh, potentially alter what they recommend or, or even what they're taught in school? Nah, they wouldn't do that. Now check this out. 2.2 liters of Coca-Cola equals 208 grams of sugar. Okay, that's 52 teaspoons of sugar a day. Now, let that sink in, 52 teaspoons of sugar. Now, that's not even including what else they ate. I mean, they're probably eating tortillas. They're probably eating other carbs, maybe other sweetened things like juice and things like that. This is just from Coca-Cola. Incredible. So whether they're using high fructose corn syrup or just regular sugar, which is a combination of fructose and glucose, um, the fructose part does not lower ghrelin, which is the hunger hormone. Okay, so it's not going to uh, satisfy the person. They can drink a lot without the feeling that they had too much. And the fructose part of this sugar um, has some unique uh, things about it. It really is similar to consuming alcohol for your liver because all of your cells in your body cannot deal with fructose, only the liver. So it forces the liver to have to deal with this fructose and create a lot of problems, not just with the fatty liver, but with insulin resistance. And with this comes a whole series of additional symptoms. And then we have the glucose, right? So you're consuming this empty carbohydrate, which is gonna deplete your calcium, your vitamin C, your B1, D3, zinc, magnesium, and especially potassium. If you're gonna drink that much liquid candy, you're gonna deplete your potassium and create a condition called hypokalemia. Now here are the symptoms with low potassium. Number one, higher pulse rate. Number two, weak muscles. There's even a condition where you can go paralyzed in your lower extremity if you have lower potassium. Arrhythmias, high blood pressure, and even constipation. Then they had phosphoric acid. And they mainly do it for the flavor to decrease the bacterial and mold counts. But the problem is phosphoric acid is a very corrosive acid. It's going to eat up your bones. It's gonna eat up your teeth and definitely create cavities. And now we have an increased risk of osteoporosis and also a problem with absorbing zinc and iron. Um, so that's phosphoric acid, okay? And then of course they have caffeine, about 149.6 milligrams of caffeine. And then we have the caramel coloring, right? Now you might think caramel coloring is uh, not that bad, but it creates something called advanced glycation end products. That is a compound where you're binding a protein with a sugar or a fat with a sugar, and it's unusable now. And that's even like a measurement of the A1C where the 
the proteins are glycated, okay, in your hemoglobin. So it's basically damaged protein that cannot be used. And that's involved with so many chronic degenerative diseases. And it's a biomarker for aging. So you're going to add this caramel flavoring that originates from, I think they have it from either like a sugar from a corn or something, and then they heat it and it creates all sorts of issues. I mean, I can't think of a more of a deadly combination between these ingredients. There's absolutely nothing in this drink that benefits you at all. Now, since we're on the topic of sugar, I created a really interesting video on sugar that I think you should check out. I put it up right here. 